Nico's still in. Yeah. We're all, the three of us are all here. Yeah, Nico's in. Yep. I'm good. Alright. Is anyone not ready? Yeah, I just need to get a microphone. Oh, wait. Uh, and we all say cl clear and slow. Mm -hmm. okay, Needed. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I'm good. Alright, anyone not ready? Result, wealthy nations should fund the United Nations population funded other nations adequate U.S. under review of PF is critical to global payment pending efforts and existing efforts more effective for dollars with quantifiable impact. Fast data agrees. Path four. Unit pay provides one for the assistance of the U.S. Many programs will provide mission to provide individuals with ability to learn from other places to voluntary education services by helping public service providers provide another person. Not provide for safe pregnancy program focus on every legend of a CD sick about all the program budget and quality of the agency provide abortion services more recently reduce abortion and death by increasing treatment for quality of the U.S. support for U.P. has been unreliable. The U.P. works to actively the work to eliminate abortion of the sixteen international death benefit. This will be the U.P. program that I found evidence of more severe impact from every. Thirty-four million dollars will help by the U.S. for providing the nine-one emergency the U.S. contribution funds and hopefully markets up the budget. Family planning is developed assistance and it's also laundry list of impacts. U.S. Seven Twelve. Family planning goals are economies and contribute to sustainable development by hard work, particularly school and job related for the investment of family planning can help lead to prosperity for all families and also contribute to the economy and promoting a healthy and even productive quality of life. Whole countries and families are promoting systems that are best and economic quality of life. Our children and family members together we need global partnership between governments. The per capita death rate is disproportionately higher in developing countries. Women want to limit their family size but lack access to contraceptives. Russell Levin. For women that in developing countries who are home birth is risky at the age of year 500 to uh, women will die during childhood of 90% of these are deaths in the developing countries of the world of race 300 times higher than average woman as a 1 in 16 years of dying during childhood of the first child woman in the developing country 1 in 4,000 children of the root cause may live in life and fail to do women to make decisions about the physically health and non-linear life and education women so no control of the reproductive health of uh, poor countries now we're not seeing that children children a large number of children they belong to live in their families as often they don't have access to effective contraception and advantage 1 is gender equality the plan safeguards against trauma constant attempts to slash you this is already inadequate reproductive health assistance adequate family planning assistance would avoid thousands of deaths Growing one. Trump can cross the U.S. for fair agreement on health care rates. The U.S. aid of the Trump program is supporting international planning in the development country. That is from the United States. The rest of the country has a high level of affordable systems. The United States will remain single. How many women are going to have that need? The need for all these immigrants is 250 million by itself. This means the need for the money that pregnancy is supposed to drop because of the United States. Women in the country are not pregnant. Two point seven million babies will die in the first month of life. They cannot be able to pay the amount of risk of development goals and investing in health services together. She ran and said, "Well, I'm investing in low wage jobs, but I'm also not paying cost for the labor pregnancy care order. We reduce my two thousand three hundred U.S. earnings. U.S. investment in international family planning and program." Important benefits of the recent U.S. and United States has to meet uh, to meet again to meet its fair share of providing international family planning and family planning is a human right and key to gender equality. It also reduces poverty, reduces child mortality, malnutrition, HIV risk, increased funding saves millions of lives. Start number one, market sixteen. Women in Sub-Saharan Africa have lost ground adolescents like the private private and planning advances to the rise of the health of women secure the rise of the design of each other. They want people to consider the rise of the world and remain childless and psychologically ready to walk with population growth increase the number of poor people. The ability for women to provide poverty will not be easily used. Men's women experience substantial sense of economic use. Hoshes have a lot of the problems with the nutrition and nutrition. Half of all childhood deaths have been reduced to the rise of the population. Nutrition and diet pregnancy have been reduced to the rise of the population. Half of all childhood deaths have been reduced to the rise of the population. Half of all childhood deaths have been reduced to the rise of the population. Half of all childhood deaths have been reduced to the rise of the population. Half of all childhood deaths have been reduced to the rise of the population. Half of all childhood deaths have been reduced to the rise of the population. Half of all childhood deaths have been reduced to HIV, women of the child marriage to cover half the effects of population change and future and this numerous women nearly eliminating family planning can help women make all stands for fed cheap employment goals the uh, increasing women's ability to choose the bottom of their women's and control of their own lives. Advantage two is child marriage. Child marriage is on the rise now, GMB six twenty. Child marriage is growing population shown an increase over time in two thousand twelve percent of marriage is involved in all the eighteen this rubbing rose of thirty two percent in two thousand fourteen to twenty forty one percent young senior women were married before eighteen and given that marriages are ready for this year making much higher there is limited about the situation and plan solves child marriage, education, health care services or key as she by sixteen. The initiative by the UPM is a part of global effort to prevent girls from marriage to young. This program will work with the countries with high prevalence of marriage to all members of the girls' initiative. will focus on improving strategy, increasing access to education, health care services, and exchanging between on the danger of marriage, increasing economic support of the families, and strengthening laws. This will help us drive the action to the future of girls' like marriage. This is critical because of trying to take the numbers of girls married will be usually one billion by 2030. Child marriage is a violation of rights. Girls who are married are likely to be out of school contact, HIV, and doctor of pregnancy. Child marriage also hurts economies. More evidence, low is it at all? Twelve. Addressing child marriage is a key component of the UPA. So we're working with people who are serving government across our support to get a policy to promote rights of unmarried and unmarried girls. The UPA supports programs that enable parents to identify the teacher time and ensure practical legal solutions that end the practice of the UPA system and their marriage by advocating school, delivering reproductive health information services, and improving economic and social well-being. And child marriage is devastating. The impact is gender violence, maternal death, and HIV. Low as it all 12. Child marriage is first marriage system. Children are not able to consent to child marriage by the government. Children are not regarded as children. 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 Child marriage about the right of unmarried girls on rights and it brings the child girls on childhood and remember sure and by being positive but it works over Jesus and push over marriage and it brings the idea of girls on chance that have been continuing education once more marriage is harmless to a few sex child marriage can be ten of a ten of all in labor funding child marriage will reduce her reduce the pregnancy and return all other girls will reduce the reduce risk of HIV child marriage and as well as those who can develop their potential spread of the system child marriage robs those of the girl hunting generating high development cost for communities framework the standard is maximizing expected will be phenomenal interest rate to improve the pleasures and should get our ability to understand the interest rate of the experience of others can be utilitarianism instead of a way. One can still question one can be doing that they are good experiences just as well as the 
moments for this one can experience well to recognize this condition. I consider reducing the pleasure of things so much. I do work for just a more readiness. My vision for the sale or piece of backbone has one feel good. Phenomenal strength can produce some heat on to others. Good others about it. No activation distinction for states and their implicit approval of action. Soul tales, more responsibilities, not seen five. Only get if it was no surprise. Always face a choice. We bring it to the parties when all the rest of our actions are facing others. Each and others and others. I can become subscribed with every form of my action, but do not for discouragement. And using the state as a humorous thing is a powerful learning tool for liberation. So, 914. Use the word as a human being who's more fast than the colleagues with the deploying of mortality. So, you're seeing a decade increase based upon practice of the real purposes. So, you're seeing a separate company. Literally, you're seeing a mortality. So, you're seeing a total global level. Same subject as a little order. And we're seeing first a little bit of 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 a little bit
the order is two off case starting at the framework. Let me know when everybody is good. I'm good. Okay, cool. I'm good. I'm not. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Good? I mean, you're good? Mm -hmm. Duties and obligations are distinct. Cron. Duties and obligations are clearly distinct. Cops have said a duty. Man's getting a moral line. Obligation arises out of set rules. Obligations arise from the function of obligations. Shows up in the other hand. The office can deny his entire. From here to seek out the conclusion, making him for that he ought to do whatever to seek out the mouth. If he shows up in the matter, he doesn't have this. Can I kill an odd conclusion from this watch? He goes in after the conclusion of all of this. is a bad watch. We find that while we find watching children the function we watch. Can never do the function of the family. They constantly do the watch. Governments only have obligations to sit and do gone. Legitimacy exists in the level of individual actor. If they rule enormous legitimate, if only it's the age of enjoy support the relevant set of actors. The government principle of virtue can inherit only the fair government. Requires the people divided into the into peoples of each unit distinguished among citizens. The rotation function must be similar, which is the same thing about which you by rules of the gate. First nations cannot have obligation to help other nations. Don't get to the good thing. That is a moral duty, not obligation, but to gate people. It would take an obligation since governments would be responsible for every minor problem in every area and every other nation, which means every government a bad government which shares the asking point. The government is extremely good. Even if you should take some action, it's impossible to be obliged to take that action because the number of years of line. What it means, the mere proof of conflicting definitions, the proof of doubt, the AC, which is sufficient now, the CP, counter plan text, wealthy nations will provide other nations development assistance for absolutely no reason at all. It's textually competitive. The resolution says for development assistance, development is constitutive of the desire of progress, regardless of whether it's desire for ideological progress, emotional progress, or temporal progress. Progress has always been assessed into one desire, the desire for power, the power emerges the way from human country, conquer nature, and immediate cultural warfare. Amnesty, from the time of the original, we've been thought to remember that progress is a good thing, progress is manifest destiny, progress is citizens, civilizing them to the less valuing the inhabitants of the world, taking the savage progress, taking Nation of the world and leisure, and opportunity to be wealthy and come to need to be done in our own assumptions. The endless, plus the progress of progress and environmental destructive practices progress is a key to national religion with the economy, with the economies, and what we are the current reservoir. We need to put all the time and energy making sure we need to get things back on practice. The story that our cultural life describes progress, progress has disconnected us from nation. We don't need to live, we need to live, we no longer need to have the knowledge of how food grows and how to care for the land which we live. Progress has disconnected us from each other. However, progress is not attachment, and rather than the intentionality behind that action, the solution is policy. And I think of giving that focus on the intent of the expenditure rather than the end, both sides are one. Expenditure is a, 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 a gift to whose humiliation we're all part of the receiving the gift of the logic and we'll respond to the gift of value. The ownership of the goods and contributors of the hotel suits of productive expenditure every increasing number of goods are subject to destruction of the wide will humiliate to each other. So let's look at it, suggest the human being's health and the engine expenditure from the notion of some giving it's easily needs access to the earth and the living. Things are lower energy, we say this is the go from the erotic pleasure of gambling. The expenditure is not channeled. The war being the cost of the expenditure of energy is again as a embodying freedom. The gift the gift of seeing is fundamental to the sum gives and we'll see the energy without receiving the living means and inevitably again the profit of self enrichment is Supposed to be generated, uh, released now. The case, the overview. Uh, allow me to your response to the point. I don't have it, uh, I don't know the implication of arguing to the one hour. The point is that the app uh, can crystallize issues into a uh, team linking all the answers. What is that asking first and last? So the last thing judges here, they can win every round with Lodi and the Lexon case. Now, the, the app of also functions. The A point is that every framework is dependent on some form of object in order to arrive at value judgment, i.e., uh, you tell the route of obligation based on the form of a human value, can and pleasure, they function. Uh, the human is maximized pleasure and well being. Secondly, function is a side constraint to making a value judgment. See, these we cannot assess the property of goodness and about recognizing the function. I do not say a paintbrush is bad because it doesn't make me happy. We don't say it's bad because it doesn't, uh, doesn't correctly paint. Third, the act is an implicit understanding of what the framework is best to do, i.e., function of the framework is to affirm asking that we have no conception of what the framework affirms and negate. Fourth, ethics must justify an action through your way to understand uh, actions coherently in order to understand that action. However, uh, we must understand what drives us to act in the first place to necessity. the CNC now. Go line by line first. Unshared about the eight point is that this is dependent upon subjective experiences. No way to uh, determine what counts as intrinsically good to one agent and apply that action to every agent, which only justifies your own self which is not a reason to help others. Second, it is it's impossible to wait between different types of pain and pleasures, loving my, uh, losing my loved one and breaking in on the, uh, two different types of pain and pleasure that are not able to be weighed against so the total value of the primary third. Maximizing well being justifies the trust that we can maximize the pleasure of 51% of the population and ignore the other 49. Independent reason you should lose and you make the case on sick now. On some scene, the eight point is that functions which are as we identify the government engaged with specific functions, which means that there is no action in the The B point is that is an action to be crossed by the fourth point and the event is always infinitely divided. Now, uh, on Zenobia, the eight point is not unique. Three is always used to be new. We even have to reconstruct the state or rather, we have to engage in it. The B point is that uh, psychological violence. People who are oppressed by the state have to engage in a new uh, force of the day. The kind of reason you lose now uh, on Brian. The equine is empirical claim that an empirical war. No other instance of the abstraction always fails, only in certain instances. And now, the equine abstraction is the prerequisite to, to create concrete social change mills. The first statement translates the experience of the intellectual series to give it a form. You will not fairly represent a particular idea. The study of social classification is, uh, is difficult to uh, go, go beyond what is in the subject. You uh, build a work containing the key elements and put it in place in a systematic way. You uh, pare it down essentially and carefully systematically related to uh, another important form of working model. Now, Ferguson, no, it definitely can't. 
policy making is and will be always interested in racism, sexist mindset, reading wrinkly, this stance of policy making is a comes from the sense of detachment, it's participants are able to engage in debates where they reform through the system itself and throw around terms like terror, uh, torture, genocide, and nuclear war without blinking debates and elations only serving as distant debaters in the uh, real world and uh, and participating in political content that the topic established in relation to the ensure uh, interpolation that uh, inherently issues back to what the political uh, the political uh, affinities of the debaters were when we fall, when we call for policy making, we not in the colonial legacy that establishes our place in the country. We uh, cannot wish away the hard risk of atrocity perpetuating everything they need to die, really doing out these implications. Now, when Shepard Hughes, the eight one is that the end to precludes, we need a coherent step back in order to first take that the B one is an unique people, always reach for the big arguments that uh, justify reasons why oppression is good, but uh, you literally uh, do not talk, you ju you're just waiting, you ju you're just reading it uh, to read it. Now, the second argument is that the state is the root cause of violent ideologies, even if their physical actions improve Hodgkin without the state, we never have a sense of social, economic, political paradigms or powerless. It is the face of repressive the entire system, the threat of violence, disease, and control. Area, and what separates them is freedom and keeping the media nations just that a parcel land control by the one economic issue who's going to dominate freedom of the enemy and the state. Now, you talk cannot derive obligation. A point, every time the player is qualitative because these definitions, so we can't quantify and compare to a new point. Admonition is not acceptable, except for the moral harm of corruption of individuals and not collectives. This is where all the questions of the individual wouldn't make sense to stress on C point. And if it were continuing an infinite amount of pleasure or pain, see D point. There's no problem for what consequence then the end to all which trigger more and to it's infinitely regrets that you want states to know what citizens and nations really are. Citizens have different pleasure based on their experience, and they can never even know the worth of all two values. The, 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 the values this hallway. Requires a constant recap, re -off, re confirmation of the alpha law can't do since the system would fail when people's values change. And inductive reasoning fails since existence is always experienced, so you still will trigger a new experience. G point can't just between acts and emissions and hold the agents accountable for harms we love. We can always do more to prevent harm. This also turns something in vernal. Now, the H point individuality is the show. We must step away from individuality, go to collective, and that kills identity because we can never identify individually. Your arguments are specific to your framework, so you cannot cross my argument for the substantive layer. Now, uh, the the argument uh, uh, that at least we're applying conclusions, gang rape, shots, fight of the rapes, pleasure, it's easy, suffering the victim. Now, the J point in personal of uh, the personal migration of pain and pleasure across the individual makes no sense. We can't add a pain, just like three headaches of equal migrating. K point circularity, we define morality when what a moral obligation is based off an ad, uh, uh, what is desirable. Yet we define what is desirable based off of moral L point nihilism. We calculate the benefits of existence by balancing the benefits of control of all human lives. Can be more bad than originally recognized. It's better than live uh, to not live than live at all. Now, death is good. Benatar, being born to exist in face death, that is the pulse of the non existent. Only exists for harm. While well, there's a duty to what bring suffering and people in existence, there are duty to bring happy people to be the reason why we should there's a duty to not bring suffering people to uh, this is that the uh, president is suffering without end, proving that because uh, they have to uh, affirm me to prove the truth to pie, say that you're not proving the truth. That's the reason why we get uh, asked the framework. That is, uh, an independent reason also, uh, negating is much harder. Uh, yeah, actually, that's fine. Okay, uh, ready? Yep. Stats of the counterplan? Uh, condo. Okay, uh, so let's discuss the counterplan. What's yep. the net benefit to the counterplan? Uh, sure. So the argument is that specifically when we talk about development assistance, it is always rooted in a desire of progress. I think that's the first piece Why of Why is the desire of progress that? Oh, okay. So the argument is that when we desire progress, we always desire another form of like how we uh, how we consume that progress. For example, when we progress, why is never any consumption of progress bad? I'm sorry. Why is the desire oh. to continue progressing sure. bad? So the argument is that uh, we no longer live and have a conceptual knowledge of how food grows or how to take care of the land in which we live because we're always caught up in like perceptual uh, progress in a context in which like it says, okay. Um, like, we don't Wait, care about so women the in developing countries now have access to contraceptives so they can learn how to learn how to grow food? I'm sorry? So, our argument is that progress in the context of the app would be women receiving contraceptives. So the counter plan says that women receiving contraceptives in developing countries means that they forget how to grow food. No, no, no. Our argument is that the implicit assumption of the app, i.e. progress, regardless of if your offense is not specifically linked, it links to the textuality of the resolution. What, what does that mean, textuality okay. of the resolution? Okay, so the text of the resolution says development assistance. If we don't do development assistance, we just give them stuff. Okay, also, so what is the issue? There's no okay, dissatisfaction so in the counter plan. Uh, I think the argument is that- That's because there's no net benefit. But that's I mean, like, I think uh, that the whole science of disagrees with that. Does the NC uh, operate under a truth testing paradigm? No. No? It could, but it doesn't. Okay, no, so if it not. doesn't operate under a truth testing paradigm, what is the impact to the fact that the app doesn't prove in like a logical obligation? What do you mean? Okay, so, so the it, resolution asks you that they have an obligation. It's literally in the text of the resolution. Yeah. You don't so have an if, obligation to okay, affirm. just because I don't prove. So if it doesn't obligate. Okay. No. So if, if no I do not, you do not affirm. If it doesn't offer, if it doesn't operate under a true testing paradigm, then under comparative it world, need why to. does it matter okay. if I do not prove that the resolution is true okay. as a logical statement? Two, that two responses to that. The first one is you do not justify comparing worlds in the app, and the second one is that it's still in. That's not my question. The does the NC assume true testing? Yeah, I was about to respond to that. So, so it does. The NC, what? It does assume truth testing. No, 
it turns it outweighs the app because the app's all right, that's fine. Right. On the framework, if not, then you're not on the framework. Yeah. Uh, what are the implications of the arguments that you go for? Like, what are the implications of the arguments you read about why the state is bad? Like, what do you have oh. a defense of a stateless actor? Oh, the argument is that specifically, like, okay, so it just turns the conception of the app. I.e., you say that. So the counter plan. Are, yeah. Wait, what's the status of the counter plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. Sorry. Don't worry about that. Um, so if the counter plan also uses the state, why are the impact turns about the state being bad? Oh, okay. So I think this is very, very good. I think that the counter plan specifically mitigates the issues with the state. The argument is that when we, like, for example, the state has always used progress in order to do specific things. Like, for example, we use progress to justify oppression on black bodies. Okay. I think that's an argument contextual black nihilism. But either way, that's we're going to see if uh, okay. Okay. Uh, the order is going to be the AF solvency, um, the AF framework, starting with the like starting with an extension of the AF framework and then the dump, uh, and then the NC and the counter. Uh, can I get order one more time? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, the order is going to be the quickly on app solvency, um, then the apps framework, and then the solvent, like the util dump, uh, then the NC, then the Kaplan.
you shouldn't have to or the uh, under or truth testing paradigm because there's no impact to it if we don't meet the textual obligation of the resolution under comparative worlds. So you shouldn't use comparative worlds that benefits its reciprocal burdens. The truth testing paradigm is after a burden on the advocates because the truth is more difficult than proving is all. I think it would 100% of my argument, but the only thing would give a defense against foreign promise. And uh, also, uh, the, the truth testing boots topic education means the logic of recycled generic arguments which deny the truth of everything. Uh, Waste all the forms of education may live two months to make the topic and have discussion about other issues in the round. And also, uh, now the counter plan conditionality is a voting issue. It must uh, use one hour flexibility, within, uh, which I think uh, kills the article. Now, the uh, negative case now, the uh, now the negate arguments. 
Extend the nations cannot have obligation to help other nations extend the point that says that even if it is a good thing, that is not a moral duty, not an obligation. You consider that this negates. That means you negate on the affirmative. Now, you will consider the big one that says that at least an infinite obligation is government would be responsible for every minor problem in another nation, would make every government a bad government, which turns the act. Ah, this is the cold conceded argument. It's literally written in the analytic. Now, extend the same point. You consider that development assistance is extremely vague, and we cannot always define what it means. This is a linguistic skepticism argument. That means that you go back on face because you consider that if we do not understand what specific implications of the topic mean. That means that you just vote negative because there's no way to identify a property of goodness. Now, on the counterplay. The thesis behind the CP is, uh, is not that the end result of the action taken is bad, but however, the intentionality of progress become productive through development is problematic. For example, we defend a shift in the intention behind transferring goes that will inevitably solve for the benefits of the app. That's the goal. That, 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 that's literally uh, implicit, i.e., uh, regardless, they still give contraceptives to uh, specific, they still to give contraceptives to women, and they still solve the entirety of the affirmative, regardless of this, there is an intention to give development assistance, which means it solves the affirmative. Now, uh, for example, if I were given a top uh, cup without being told what it's supposed to be for, I would use it to store water from Thursday, which means that the affirmative is literally just an intuitive answer. Now, extend Emerson, you fundamentally misunderstand this argument. It is not that progress is inherently bad, but the way it's manifested in society, which means that Link turns all of your uh, arguments. You, they, uh, for example, we can that the ability to recognize uh, what it means to progress has always led us in the wrong direction since things like carelessness towards the life form is always attached to it. Now, you can see in multiple uh, key warrants, the influence that the nature of our actions is always determined through an ideal selfishness, since we can detach from the world that allows us to prosper. So your ethic, i.e. you, to all be flawed, since this is not coherent under the lens of an ethical decision. Now, the big point is that Emerson identifies ontological violence that is continually a current structure on the way to, uh, to civilize the uncivilized. For example, colonization and the desire to progress as the European nation, which means we turn the affirmative at the C point. Knowledge is ruptured over time since we continuously detach ourselves from understanding process, which helps for progressive actions, i.e. the knowledge of land and how to care for, which means the knowledge production is unstable and cannot be objective. So the one is cannot be evaluated with the reduction of projects. Now, you say, uh, you say perm to the uh, negative, but see, here's the issue. You still link it to the negative. You can see the link out as the Emerson argument. You say uh, conditionality is a voting issue. Here's the issue. Uh, conditionality is not a voting issue. It allows us to have uh, multiple layers of knowledge that we can uh, collapse upon. I, I can probably not convert, I, I probably cannot read uh, for specific unconditional position because that would skew knowledge, uh, skew education. Education is an uh, independent voter because it's the only portable kill we can take uh, from the media. That is the reason why uh, you prefer conditionality is not a voting issue. I.e., uh, and also you do not uh, do any specific uh, fairness weighing between the education claims and the affirmative. I.e., you have conceded that education comes first inside of the affirmative. I.e., learning about specific issues are important, which means you cannot leverage this conditionality voting issue. It's the reason why uh, you negate and uh, you, now you can see the uh, Emerson evidence that you can see the desire for progress, the manifestation of cultural violence, and see the key internal war to the card. You can see the eighth one says that the nature of reaction is always determined through all that idea of selfishness. You've also conceded that the both sides of evidence. Your responses are incoherent. They're predicated on a flawed conception of how productive expenditure functions. The argument is that only a method of pure unproductive expenditure can mitigate the cultural balance of progress. Now to the affirmative. You see the plan out which means that it's all set, but you can see the multiple reasons why uh, you do not have an obligation to do anything, which means that you still cannot function. Also, you can see uh, multiple reasons why, uh, even if we did that, we would have to take an action. First, now, uh, on the death good, on the death good argument, you say uh, that is an independent reason to drop me, but the argument in uh, Venice are seriously is not responded to. The argument is that uh, in order to understand death, we must uh, affirm the concept of death because uh, everybody automatically rejects it instantly. That is the argument, Venice, which means it's definitely not a uh, reason why you vote me down. So here's another one that sounds thus far. You've considered that the negative or the NC functions under the affirmative, regardless of if it functions on a truth testing model, which it could also, but it can also turn the app. You can see this argument. Independent reason why you just lose. Okay. Uh, seconds. Okay. Uh, Solvency framing counterplan? Yeah. Right. Okay. Sorry, solvency, like a framing, neck framing. Okay. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Women in developing countries deserve 
control over their own bodies, that pull the UNFPA takes the first step in giving women the ability to choose uh, and have control, and the plan outweighs the net benefit to the capital, and the plan stops millions of deaths that occur every year, so result of lack of contraception, this outweighs the non-body duty and reversibility, the impact of the, uh, the, the, the impact of the dis is very unclear, something about uh, the progress and over-consumption, but you've conceded that material death is obviously worse because it forecloses the ability for uh, things like over-consumption to be, re re to be reversed, and death is, uh, and physiological death is the ultimate end, which means that there's no actual impact uh, to the net benefit, and then we have the case that definitely uh, outweighs now on framework. You've conceded all of our words for you, till this is uh, several implications. The first is that it disproves the thesis of the NC, and definitely means that your skepticism impact, uh, skepticism, uh, uh, skepticism triggers uh, have no impact, because the fact that you tell is true disproves the thesis of moral skepticism, which is that uh, we can't establish moral values, because you conceded that, yes, uh, we in fact can, and that will be within our obligation, and that we do, that we do have such an oral obligation to maximize pleasure and minimize pain, even so, winning uh, the util debate definitely just proves that, that all of the overview arguments which you kind of, which you kind of go to be all good for, because uh, all of your overview arguments are assumed that you are winning the NC, however, we are going for our sensing evidence, which proves that uh, the state has to take into account consequences and has to operate or operate under uh, utilitarian decision-making calculus, because, uh, uh, because of uh, uh, operating off of something that's based off social, uh, so, uh, functional, uh, only, uh, solely functionality is incoherent in the context of the government, being practically conceded this, and the government has to be held accountable for all the consequences it asks, it answers uh, all of your arguments about the moral skepticism and uh, justifications we call act action theory. Now, uh, the NC, it literally doesn't even matter if I'm winning the framework, because the fact that you decide to collapse in the NC who operates under comparative worlds definitely just means that you affirm, because uh, this proves that there's no actual impact to me not proving an explicit uh, logical obligation in terms of the words of the resolution. I don't have to prove the resolution true, and in like, terms of a logical statement, I just have to prove that in a world, uh, that if a world exists with a resolution would be more desirable, uh, then you affirm the fact that you've conceded the entirety of the case and you're conceding words for util definitely proof that uh, I am winning the argument that uh, the act is more desirable under utilitarian decision-making calculus. The fact uh, it, 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 it is, uh, it is more uh, desirable and definitely outweighs any of the so-called solid link terms that you go for. All the impacts to the link terms are just the fact that uh, the government hasn't met its obligation, but there's no impact to not meeting the obligation if you're not reading truth testing. You've conceded uh, multiple reasons why truth testing is not true. Under comparative worlds, the NC literally doesn't make sense. If you're evaluating the debate as in there's two worlds and one has to prove that a world with a resolution is more desirable or undesirable, then it's clear that the app has, met, it has um, like, succeeded in doing that, and that outweighs any impact to the NC. The counterclaim debate is super easy. You practically conceded our permutation. Our argument is that the permutation shields the link to the decide. Your only response is that the permutation still lends hover. No, it doesn't, because if you would do the counterclaim, which is also uh, to do ODA without any uh, reason at all, that means it shields the link to the progress decide, uh, because we're doing ODA for no reason at all. It gives us a severance permutation, but you're not reading any arguments about why severance are bad. In fact, you've conceded an argument while severance is in fact what you've conceded the last argument we've in the one AR, which is the just choice argument. The judge can choose the reasons for affirming. You don't have to ascribe the fact that the app ascribes to serve a certain of a notion of progress uh, in your final judging package, which means that we literally sever up our representations. You don't, you conceded an argument about why this is key to act last. Uh, you vote on the permutation. All right, um, decision's in. Um, congratulations to both sides for reaching the quarterfinals of the prestigious Alta or Alta or whatever invitational. It is a 2 1 for the affirmative from the Immaculate Heart. Hey, I sat and I think I know, I'm just more inclined to uh, like this type of field debate, I guess, but I. I'll just go through how it voted. Anyways, so where it comes to is... Okay, so... Okay, so now we have the AF and then we have the NC, right? So the NC, he makes a big deal about it in the 2NR that the NC functions under UTO. The NC is not different from UTO. It is a subset of UTO which he's saying matters, right? So there's a couple of ways I can vote for him. One, skep triggers. Just, you didn't even say the word skep in the 2AR. I understand that you might not think it's a big enough deal, but if it's something that he triggers twice, and he triggered it in two different ways, not only because we don't have obligations, but also linguistic step, linguistic skep, which is created like for textual reasons, all like very small arguments for sure, but like they're skep triggers. Wait, so how did you evaluate the argument that him conceding the util justifications means that skep is incoherent because we've proven that you can morally obligate someone? Via yeah, yeah, that's that that's one way that he triggered skep. He triggered skep two ways. Remember. The first one was at the top of the NC, okay? And this doesn't even require obligation or the, the question of obligations because the first trigger is specifically like, we don't know whether a framework affirms or negates. So, so that's, a, that's a reason that we skip, like we trigger skip right there because he had these function he had these function arguments that were coming up, the overview on the AF, 
they were basically saying things just like we don't know whether framework affirms or not, and that's the reason that's like should be like the main point of what debate. Does that, I'm sorry, not to not to interrupt you, just like to understand. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Uh, it's very like it's. I mean, it's tricky debate, but uh, I think what the NC is trying to say is like. The way that we evaluate arguments in the round specifically requires there to be a function to a framework, right? A framework, when we use it, is like we only use it because it provides a function for us, a frame, like a lens to look at the round, to look at the round, right? So now he's saying, so so frameworks are only valued because they have functions, right? The question is, he cry, he gives his reasons, he gives like a bunch of reasons at the top. I'm, I don't really think we have enough time to go through all of them, but gives a bunch of reasons at the top that are just like, yo, here's why UTO as a framework does not inherently have a side like issue, right? It does not inherently, we don't know if it affirms or negates because it's all contextual to the round. And that's the reason as to why that triggers skip. Because the only reason we would use a framework is if we knew it would help us in the first place because it has to be functional, right? But we don't know whether a framework is functional or not going through the round because we don't know if it's going to be useful for us or not. I guess that's at least what I'm taking away from it. I might be wrong. I not super, super well read on this literature, obviously. Uh, um, but like, that's what I was taking away from it. So that was a skep trigger, and then we negate, because he was the only one that read that we negate under skep, on the like, presumed neck at the bottom of the NC. Uh, yes, there's this, there's this obligation question, and you are right, I do think you're winning the obligations issue. Uh, like, if he concedes UTO reasons, then that obviously means we have an obligation to do something. But I don't think that's necessary for him to win the round, just because one, he, in the NC himself, he says, yes, governments do have obligations. They have obligations to their citizens. He concedes that their obligations exist for certain arguments. Yes, there's a lot of contradictions in the one in the two and R, but the, he makes like a bunch of the arguments are like, first of all, like the entire, like counterclaim is conditional and stuff like that. And I just think they're, even with the contradictions, they're all just like specific to like certain types of arguments that you read, which also function differently from each other, that I think it's fine if he has contradictions like that. But the second way that he triggers skep is through linguistic skep, which is he, uh, I forget exactly which point it was, but I just have it written down at the bottom on the, the dump that he did on the, on the front, on Uto, uh, which was like, uh, like some point about like how there's like a, like a linguistic contradiction, uh, which means that we would trigger skep right there. I didn't see a response to that, but that was not the main reason why I would vote for him, but that's just one way I could have voted for him, was on skep. Uh, so like that's one place that I think I could pull the trigger. Uh, but also, okay, looking on the NC, okay, so permutation do both, you say like there's, I don't, I'm not sure, I, I have a feeling that you understood what the counterplan was saying, but if you didn't, I just think, you say textual competition is not an argument, his argument is that we shift our intentions of how we're supplying these contraceptives to women, right? Instead of making it an obligation, or like we have to give them these contraceptives, it becomes a gift. I'm doing this out of my own will, I'm doing this, I'm like, buying you a birthday present because I want to, not because you asked me to, but because I want to buy you a birthday present. Sure, it seems like a very textual, like it's all based on grammar, right? It's like literally the sentence just says, instead of saying we have an obligation to provide contraceptives, we just are giving it as a gift. That's literally what the counterplan says. And I do think it is competitive because he really, you know, he, in the 2 and R, he's like, specifically, he's like, this is, we shift our intentions, which inherently means the permutation do both doesn't exist. Because your intention is like, we provide contraceptives to women because women are dying every single day and they need these contraceptives to not like get HIV and stuff like that. And that's an obligation for governments to provide for that. Wealthy nations have an obligation to do that, right? So how do you evaluate the argument that we just do the counterplan? Like it's a severance firm that he doesn't say is bad. Like we just do the counterplan and we sever out of our representations that establish some sort of intentionality for um, Yeah, sure. Um, I guess, like, I'm not sure if you made that. I just heard the perm do both in the 1AR. Okay. You do make the severance perm in the 2AR, but that's also a severance perm in the 2AR. Um, and also, he makes a, a couple of other reasons, right? He, he has these arguments in the 2 and R just like, we're inherently selfish, and that all like makes us contradict you in the first place and stuff like that. So inherent selfishness means that it would, the only way that the plan would work would be through a gift-giving process. Because that's the only way we can ensure that a person is not being selfish, i.e. looking at their own relations rather than the good or pleasure for society as a whole, which would be con like, like the counterplan is best under UTIL as well. So I think the counterplan does work. The severance firm comes in the 2AR, sure, but I don't think I'm gonna vote off of a severance firm in the 2AR, um, especially where I could vote off of, like, Skep. I mean, Skep is, Skep is triggered in the 2NR and you didn't say the word Skep in the 2AR. Okay, uh, disagree, but I respect your decision. Okay, yeah. Um, all right, I can go next. Um, 
Um, so I saw the round a little differently. Um, I can go flow through, flow by flow. So starting on this like obligation NC, um, like I agree with Danielle. Uh, I don't think this makes sense in a comparative worlds paradigm. Uh, I have like several answers from you uh, in the 2NR. You say, if I win that it functions under the AF, then it link turns the AF. Um, I don't get an argument for as to why it functions under the AF. Um, I get like a jurisdiction argument, which I don't have explicitly responded in the 2AR. So like that gave me some pause. Um, I The argument is that a moral duty is not an obligation, so you're not topical, so I can't vote for you. Um, like, I don't think this argument makes sense under a comparing, comparative world paradigm, because I think under a comparative, like, uh, using comparative worlds, uh, like, she just has to win that a world where countries do have an obligation is more desirable than one where they don't, or like when they act on that obligation, it's more desirable than one where they don't. I don't think she has to win that there's an actual obligation or like that a obligation's being met right now. Um, and like obviously, like I'm like a very bad judge for this strategy, um, so maybe I'm confused. Uh, that's all good. But don't that, I mean, that's how I see it break down. Um, I don't understand why her not being able to like provide some kind of theoretical justification uh, for why governments aren't meeting their obligation right now means that like she's suddenly not topical. Um, so the argument was that um, like obviously it can be interpreted differently like I respect like maybe it should have been like verified yeah. in the 2N. The uh, so the argument was that um, via the Quran evidence there are two things that are distinct. There is an obligation and there is a moral duty. So if we understand that the affirmative is a moral duty and not an obligation the resolution entails an obligation. Like, it literally says, like, obligation. And that means that, like, the act is not tetral, which means, like, you cannot do it. So my interpretation of that was she stands up in the two era and she's like, I don't have to prove the resolution's true. I just have to prove that there's a world that's more desirable. I think, like, under truth testing, like, that might make sense. Uh, under, like, comparative worlds, it's a question of, like, what's more desirable. I don't understand how, like, the a question of, like, can there be an obligation? Like, is it a duty or obligation fits in? It's just a question of like, well, like, what would be nicer to have? Like, if there, like, if a government did have an obligation to provide family planning, like, would, would that be better than if it didn't? Yeah. So, like, that's how that's how I saw it. Yeah, yeah. That, that leads me to, like my next question. Like specifically with um with the jurisdiction argument, um, plan apps always rely on like a comparative world's framing. That's like mm -hmm. usually how like how they function. However, T interps like that are like, okay, it must have been economics, this, that, the other. Like, that wouldn't necessarily have its alternate evaluative mechanism, but they still have like jurisdiction arguments. Like what distinguishes those jurisdiction arguments from the jurisdiction argument in the NC? Um, can you repeat the second half? Sorry, I blinked. Oh yeah, sorry. So um, um, the plan apps always have like, they always function under like comparative worlds. Yeah. It's logical. So if T interps that are like, okay, you can only defend economics, this, that, the other, they always have like jurisdiction voters in the underview. Like, if you're not T, we can't vote for you because the judge has to be in the context of the resolution. Why exactly does that need an alternate evaluative mechanism, i.e. I don't, so is your, is your, like how is the jurisdiction claim in? Like a 1AC underview or? Um, yeah, or, it's like, it's like how is the jurisdiction claim different from the, like in the NC than it would be in a regular T interp? In a regular T interp? Because like a regular T interp would also function under comparative worlds. I think, well, I think a T interp is different. A T interp is not like you have not, like you're talking about moral duties, not obligations. It's like the resolution asks you to defend this and you're defending the desirability of a world that's something else. So like uh, like the desirability of like Asian counter narratives or something like that. Like I think that's very different than saying like you have not established, like, like this is not a counter narrative, this is something else or like, Oh, like you have not like, or something of that sort. So that's the distinction that I see. Um, like again, like maybe things go like differently on the East Coast. Uh, I just don't think it was clarified enough um, in this round for me to see it that way. Um, do you have any more questions on the? Oh no, those. those All right, um, counter plan flow. Um, I think the perms undercovered. I hear a lot of like it's about intentionality, blah blah blah. Like solves a hundred percent of the app. Um, I don't understand what the competition is in a world where she severs. Uh, the Like I check the counter plan text is just like uh, essentially like do like development aid but for like 
no reason. So she's like, okay, we'll ODA, uh, do development aid without any reason. That includes my AFWA. We don't do it for any reason, but like it solves, but it also solves uh, like your impacts. Uh, like I buy that it shields the link. Um, your response is uh, this Emerson extension. Um, this Emerson card, what I flowed, um, you talk about how the desire for progress manifests in like, Society leads to ontological violence uh, constructed by the attempt to civilize the uncivilized, et cetera. Uh, if the perms are articulated as like, do it, but do it for like no reason or for like no particular incentive, I don't understand why that doesn't dodge that. Like it's literally the counter plan. Like it's obviously a cheaty perm, but like that, like I only have one argument floating, and that's Emerson. Um, and that's it. Um, you uh, also, I think a lot of the, to an art, when you say things like the AF is the intuitive answer, like solves 100% of the AF, um, I think that like uh, starts lending credence to the perm. Like I, you didn't point it out, but like from my perspective, it, like if I keep hearing like, oh, obviously results in the AF, or like, oh, literally like includes 100% of the AF, like it yeah. sounds like there's no mutual exclusivity going on. Um, so that's just a side comment. Um, on case, um, starting with the, Functionality and see, um, I don't think it's clearly articulate. I think I like I buy uh, like functionality that like ends up triggering skep. I like I buy her argument that like if she proves util, that proves that there is a moral calculus. So it's not like we're all sitting in the dark. Like oh like do we do like we don't like we don't know etc. Um, if you mean to like extend this argument in a different way, I don't think that was ever clearly articulated. Um, like I think that her extension of Sunstein implies that like the work of the government is to be a utilitarian agent. I don't have an answer to that anywhere. Um, Sunstein's like extended pretty explicitly on like every single rebuttal. Um, so I'm not like I'm a little confused as to how this like function NC, which is like oh we judge something by like if it's filling its how it's filling its function like works within that. Um, might be a judge thing like might be a rebuttal thing like I don't know. Um, for the util. For the util debate proper, um, she mostly goes for Sunstein. Um, I don't hear anything specific to government obligations. I have something float in the NR about like we must understand uh, like the act omission distinction or something along the lines like coherently before we can engage that. Uh, I don't think that interacts with her argument that's like uh, governments must have uh, some kind of moral responsibility or they must have some sort of trade off that they're functioning under. They can't just sit around and let things happen. Uh, so, like, that's that. Okay. Um, oh, one more question. Just for, like, um, like, for, like, one error, like, or <laughs> two and reduce and stuff. Um, okay. So, regarding the util dissolves to functions arguments, uh, like the four analytics, if <laughs> util is true, why does that, like, negate the fact that it would dissolve to functions even if it well, is Well, I don't. Well, one, I don't understand the implication of what happens if it dissolves to functions. If it dissolves to functions, the function of the government to be utilitarian, like where it's, like she's telling me the function of the government to be utilitarian. You're telling me util devolves to functions. You're not telling me anything past that other than like skep, but I don't think skep is true in a world where like util is, or it's established that like there's some form of moral obligation in terms of like the agent of the plan. I don't, like I don't really know what to take away from this like function argument. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Um, so I need policy in high school, so I'm probably judging this like way different from most judges. That's okay. So bear with me. Um, yeah. Okay. So I ended up uh, being rid mostly because of like impact calculations, and also because I do end up buying the perm on the count, like on the counter plan. It's kind of it's like super sketchy though. Like it's pretty sketchy because you do essentially sever out the app, but again, it's not really necessarily arguing that that's like the worst thing in the world. Um, and then the answers that I do get from from the next side about why permutation is bad, like for me personally, it just doesn't get like fleshed out enough. Like, um, like you give, yeah, it's just like you give arguments where you're like, okay, well, the perm fails because like it, because if you try and perm, like you'll link further into the NC, but like I don't quite understand why that's true and what the implications of that would be, you know? So, like I, so yeah, and um, yeah, so because of that, I just kind of ended up buying the counter plan. And also like, again, because a lot of the times you are repeating like, well, I function under the world of the app, like I result in the app and stuff like that, which for me just kind of gives more ground to the perm. 
and like it just sort of makes me confused about like what net benefit there would be if I just voted for the counter plan instead of voting for the firm, you know? Um, and then I also like so because I did policy like the impact stuff is kind of like a big thing for that. So like um, I'm so I value that fairly high, and I just found that a lot of impact help work wasn't like done sufficiently by the uh, negative team for me. Like you have really good impacts, especially within the counter plan, where you're like, okay, well, util is like you're, you're like using the state as the root cause for you know like all these bad things, right? And I just wish you could like if you did more work on that, and if you explained that thoroughly, and maybe included that and in why the perm wouldn't function, then I think that's like totally a route where I could have voted for you. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Thanks so much. Thank you all. Yep.